we should do a clear separation between, first of all, the unbelievable support of different peoples all over the world, okay, and what is being done by the government. Okay. Politically, surely there is, don't want to, to describe it with very, with very hard words, but unfortunately, one of the Arab nations is, is, is passing a genocide. Uh, the rest of the Arab nation were, were, has failed to stop the genocide. Okay, let's be at least to say the fact. And I think that surely the Arab world can do much more, but the most important player here is Egypt. And I'm totally convinced that the Egyptian uh, state could have stopped this war if they, wanted, if, if they wanted enough to do so. But we should also say and see the truth that a huge amounts tens of millions of people want all over the world to support a ceasefire, to stop the war on Gaza, and this is something highly appreciated by the Palestinian people and by any human rights activist all over the world. We should also, and you see them, we, we should tell them that we see them and we highly appreciate their work, but I think they can also do more. I think that uh, we should be very clear about the U.S. The U.S. are part of the, uh, of the war on Gaza. The U.S. has decided from the beginning to take part, and they are sitting in the war cabinet inside the state of Israel. They're, and the head of the state, the president, and his, a few of his ministers have already been sitting on the table taking the decisions of the genocide happening to the Palestinian people. So it's not a double standard. It's a much worse thing to do, they have decided to be part of the war crimes on my people in Gaza.